All right, good morning. We've made it to another Friday. This is um, April 10th, and we are going to take those skills we've learned the last two days as far as the perspective and actually draw the social hall. Uh, we'll be going out to the hall later, but here is the picture as far as what we're going to be doing. And we'll show you how you can use your perspective, your one point perspective, to be able to draw this, the social hall uh, at Healthy Living OKC. All right, so we're gonna start off by looking at the hallway, the social hallway at a Healthy Living OKC. All right, and I'm gonna show you how it changes when you have a different viewpoint. So I'm going to move this, this up as I'm gonna go high on a ladder very carefully. And I'm gonna have the camera like at my viewpoint, looking up. So you can see how when you look at a subject matter from a higher viewpoint, it's going to change. Now we're gonna go down to eye level. Try not to get you guys too sick as far as the movements. And this would be my eye level. I'm putting the camera right in front of my eyes or as I'm looking down. Now I'm going to go down and show you what it would look like the same view if we were looking down toward the floor. All right, see how the different viewpoint changes? All right, so when you draw a corner of your house, you're going your point, your vanishing point is going to be right in front of where you're looking. If you take your eyes and like you're standing straight right in front of your eyes, wherever that would be, would be your vanishing point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Walk down memory lane as we're going down the hall into the art room. We'll all get to do this soon. I'm missing everybody. We want to be able to meet back together again soon into the art room. Okay, so I took a picture of what we were looking at. And we're going to now just kind of play to make sure that that our uh, minds can understand what we're doing. As far as from this point of view, if I were to connect all of the things that are horizontal, they will meet at the point of which I was looking. It's my vanishing point. So I'm going to take and go like from the ceiling tiles. The edges of those lights. Now the line of my marker and the ruler may not be exact, but you guys will be able to get the idea. So the ceiling tiles are all gonna match. Even the tops of the paintings that are on the walls. Now, that, the, the word we're going in, that's the box that we're starting off with. So in other words, there's a box, anything like this, lines that are going horizontal are gonna still stay horizontal. So we've got several boxes where the lines are, where the walls are. But anything that is going back this direction, okay, in other words, going this way has to go back to the vanishing point. So we have verticals, that'll be vertical, and horizontals that are going back into the direction, they're going to all go back to the vanishing point. You can have some horizontals this way because that's your, your plane. Just like this little thing that's jutting out, you've got some verticals, like a vertical box, but that edge of it is gonna go back to your vanishing point, All right? Even like the edges of the uh, floor tiles will go back to the vanishing point. So if you guys can kind of see the floor tiles, they're gonna all still go back to the vanishing point. Anything that is in our picture, 
It's gonna go back to the vanishing point. This edge of this door that's closing is gonna go back to the vanishing point. This is part of our horizontal plane though. So this picture is going to be like a little box. But this edge where it starts again, there's our box, is going to go back to the vanishing point. All right, so we have the, the pictures on this side will be back to the vanishing point. And so that's how you can kind of get started with a one point perspective. So in other words, when I put the camera right in front of my eyes, that was my vanishing point of which everything would go. If I'd have taken the picture from above, then my vanishing point would have been up here. Or if I'd have taken the picture when I was down on the floor, I couldn't have stayed there that long guys though. Then, um, then it would have been a different viewpoint. So when you're starting to do the drawing, then you look at it and say, where am I going to start from? How do I get this drawing started? So I can put this in the center of the camera. So we have now our picture and our drawing. And so you're going to figure out what are your boxes? What are the ones that you can go from your known to your unknown? So you kind of have a box right here. You have, have another box right here. You have another box right here. Where it goes, so those are boxes and things that you, you know. And so you can put those in there. So this is our, our little box. All right, and then we've got our bigger box going out. And then I'm going to make a line above that. All right, and that line's gonna go right down to that edge. And I'm going to go from my vanishing point, which is right here in the doorway. So I have a doorway. And I'm gonna start making my lines outward. So this is this little edge right here. Okay, and then I have this hallway. It's a straight edge, okay. This is this wall right here. So there's a picture on that wall. And that one's gonna be straight. And as I come out this direction, I have a doorway. So I've gotta make my doorway be in perspective. Coming out from here, the doorway is coming straight down. So I'm going to make my doorway, it's coming out, all right, then over here to the doorway, I have a line that's going out, okay, it's going to come straight this direction, it's coming out from the wall, all right, and see how it's going to go back to the vanishing point. No, and I'm, I'm seeing that I got to change that. So that's okay, because that needs to be higher. Because there's the top of my wall. There's the, the part that's going back. So my vanishing point's got to go up this direction. And that edge is pretty tall. Okay, so then I'm going to go from there, from that edge, and that's going to make the top of my ceiling. Okay, so this part right here is that, and that's going up. And then from this one, I have it going out. All right, and then I'm going to have a railing. And I can say, oh, it's about a third so there's gonna be my railing. And 
I'm going to put a picture on the wall. So I'm going to put my vertical lines, however big I want my picture to be. And I'm going to match them to my vanishing point. Give them a little three dimension to be on the wall. Kind of shade this in so I can tell where we are. And then you have some lines going back to like your lights and your tiles. And you can just make those the horizontal lines that keep going little bit further each time as I go back and you can shade them in so you know your tiles are a different value than your lights And then you just begin to add your details. So there's a little trim around this doorway that we can put on. This door that's right next to this one is going back in perspective. So we know where that door's gotta go. We're going back a little bit on that. There's a door coming out from the edge. And we can say, well, we know it's coming down from here. It's coming out from room C. We have a doorway that's going, a doorway trim that's coming around the doorway that's in the art room. We have a door. could take our uh, ruler and just use it as a pivotal point and draw several lines. They don't have to be exactly from our point as far as to kind of indicate our floor.
windows that we see back here in the art room. You can add shading and you can begin to make things darker and lighter. You've got your darker values, your lighter values, and you can just keep on playing with this. Take a wall in your house and uh, draw it, see what you come up with, and begin to practice your one point perspective. In the art room, there's a whole lot of love and I'm looking forward to being able to hear all your stories and be able to get back together again. All right, well, goodbye for the weekend. Have a great weekend. Uh, do something fun and don't forget to wash your hands.